Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we're doing something a little bit different. This video, we're not renewing anything. But I'm going to show you something that I picked up from a thrift store. I think I paid about $6 for it. And uh, it's pretty cool. And there's a chance I might throw it up for sale at some point. But honestly, for what it is, it is going to be extremely useful for as broke as I am. So, without ado, or without much ado, without, yeah. Okay. So, let me show you what we got. It is from 1965, and it's about 95% complete there's a little small things missing you might notice here it's upside down but it says Mattel 1965 yep let me flip it around so you can see it better and Mattel Mattel power shop yep get it in here I'll show you maybe even set it up and show you but I do know that it works look at this thing look at this thing we got templates and stuff in there books a little on the crispy side but Mattel power shop instructions 1965 this is a kid's toy but it it works so we got sanding disc still have it yep we got the faceplate for said sanding disc we got, we got the tool bits. This glass door is a little, little tired, but how, how did we, how did we get it up again? Fingers ain't, oh, that's why it's broken right there. Fortunately, it, you know, it's been used, but missing that guy right there but we got uh we got three thumb screws we got we got one thumb screw two thumb screws three thumb screws we got all three thumb screws we got glue that is the original glue and it's still it's a little hard, but it's still pretty soft. I haven't tried it. And I don't think I will, to be honest. But I'm going to keep it in there, because it's cool. You know, we got... Almost everything. We got that. We got that. It's missing the face shield. So, you're going to have to get your own safety glasses if I put it up for sale. So, we got the jigsaw block. I have actually not set it up entirely yet but I have set it up it's got it's a three-in-one jigsaw haven't set it up yet but I'm I would very much like to I think it'll be very handy it's got an electric sander yep and it's got the lathe I have tried the lathe it's four in one actually I have tried the lathe but I don't have soft enough wood for 
what this requires because you know it's meant for kids not for real adult project stuff it's also got a drill press yep for wood it's pretty pretty slick got instructions on how to set up jigsaw everything you know how to use it same thing with the sander the lathe um, drill press I have tried the drill press it's 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 pretty slick um, there's just look at this thing and the, the even though for the book being as chewed up as it is it's you know it's clear it's readable until it's not readable on some of these pages I'll show you you know it's got you know, if you want to order replacement parts, I don't know why there's a bug or an airplane. I guess, sure. But you know, it's it's got part numbers and order forms. It's got you know, they come with little patterns in here. You can't really see them, but there's you know, there's little patterns. For when you're doing the wood lathe on making freaking table legs. Honestly, no kid today would ever want to play with this thing, but just about every adult in the world will want to. <laughs> there went my light. But we still got plenty of see. We can see. I mean, look at it. You can make a freaking miniature baseball bat. And it's got the template for it. You know, a miniature baseball bat, like, table leg thing, that would be pretty, pretty cool, actually. And then it's got, you know, how, you want to make a gavel? You want to be a judge and make a gavel? Got a template for it. You want to make, you want to make, you know, let's see, that's more of the gavel. You want to make a salt and pepper shaker? It's got the templates for it. Which would be really neat, honestly, to make a salt and pepper shaker. Girlfriend loves salt and pepper shakers. You want to make, you know, you want to make a table leg for your table? Real small table leg? Make it. It's got the template. Unfortunately, it's, it's missing the top half of this page. And the top half of there. There. But it's, it's pretty slick. Uh, let me see if I can get you positioned somewhere and get my light fixed. And then we'll get it set up, uh, show you that it's working. You know, there's your power switch on, off, on, off, you know. There's your drill head. This motor is, it's a little, little underpowered, but, you know, it works. And if it works, I can honestly use this on small stuff to make some money. So, like I said, I might, I might just have to keep it. Hey guys, first thing we're gonna do, let's set up the drill press. I'm not gonna drill anything with it, but you know I can set it up, plug it in, show you guys that it works. Um, but to be honest, for a kid's tool, this thing is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, so it's also a little, little on the heavy side. But so let's see, let's. Oh, All right, let's. I'll set it up here in the box because space. Let's see where I can get you in the camera here. I'll set it up. How's this way? Look. Yep. There we go. You okay? No. I got wood chips in my eye. <laughs> Somehow I blew wood chips in the girlfriend's eyeballs, but you didn't see none of that. First thing, you know, let's plug this puppy in here. Actually, no, let's not plug it in yet. Plug it in after getting it set up. Safety ether. Okay. So, let's go to the drill press instructions. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, right. The drill press. 
pick out your parts shown in the picture. So we got our, you know, the base, or they call it the tail stock. Then, you know, we're gonna need a thumb screw, the safety handle. There's the safety handle, thumb screw, already installed. And then, uh, you know, we'll need the drill cap and a small little drill bit. Drill cap, there it is. Sorry about the bright light in the corner. And, you know, where, where you go? Drill bit. There we go, thank you. There's our drill bit. Not a, not a round drill bit, it's flat. It's just flat. So, you can't just go use any old drill bit out of the toolbox for this. Okay. So now what it says you want to do is you want to take this black cap here, take your drill bit, slide it in like so. Yep, okay, so you don't put it in all the way yet. Take your motor shaft here and you just clip it in. And then you slide this guy up the rest of the way and it locks it down into place. There we go. Like so, there is you. Okay, that's actually step five, not sure. It actually says to then slide said safety handle in and you undo this thumb screw because you're going to need it. Oh, sir. Thumb screw, come on, behave. Okay, so get the thumb screw out of here, or use a different thumb screw. I just don't want to pull out the extra one, okay? Set this puppy just oh, well, let's see. Ah, okay, this way up. And then take your thumb screw. Wing and you just tighten her down. Like so. Yep, there we go. Just like so, she's in. And guess what, fellas? That's it. So, now let's get plugged in here. Yep, she's in. Listen. Hear it? It's going. And then you just Slide it down. It's a little stiff to slide down, but it's spring activated. So she goes right back up. So there we go. Now, if we were to read the instructions a little bit more, let's see. It basically just tell you. Let's practice on this board here. Get this guy picked up get out, out of the way. Set, so I can set the board. Set that on the ground. No, it, it's okay right where it is. And I'm going to set this just like so. You know, up above a little bit.
it's a little slow going on the drilling. So guys, there you go. This is uh, that's uh this Mattel Power Shop 1965 kids toy. I kind of wish I had this when I was a kid. But I'm glad I have it now that I'm an adult. So what we're gonna do, or I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna use the drill press side very much, to be honest. I have you know, better tools for that. But the jigsaw, you bet. The lathe, you bet. The sander, definitely. So, in fact, that'll be it for this video. Next uh, video, I'm gonna be shooting right now, and it might already be up there on the YouTube. How to make a key ring holder out of an old guitar head. So, if you see that, go ahead and check it out. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. Throw a comment down below. And uh, share it with all your friends. Share it with your old woodshop teacher. I bet he'd get a kick out of it. So, you guys uh, have a good rest of your day and keep on renewing.